simplest way I guess the most powerful way to get people to look at your offers hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about what is the best way for people to actually get to check out your offer so you've got an offer you're building a business you're trying to grow a team you're using Facebook maybe you're trying to sell a course whatever it is you're trying to do this is definitely one of the ways that is the most um it gets you the most results of getting people to check out your offer so we're going to get right to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right so no matter whether you have a course you're trying to sell whether you're trying to get people to get in your business whether you're trying to get them to buy a product anything that you're trying to do online if you're using Facebook or probably other social media platforms work for, would it would work pretty much the same but we're going to show you a method that is amazing at getting people to actually take the time to even just look at what you have which is what everybody wants what everybody tells you you need to do is to get people to at least look at your offer right that's the only way that they're going to know whether it's for them or not they have to look at it but most times online it's really hard to get people to just look at your offer so we're going to get into that before we go there though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to definitely go check out the video because in the video I will be showing you exactly what I'm talking about and you can go check that out at cis423.jsgagnon.com where I will share my screen and show you all of what I'm talking about so let's get right to that let's share my screen right over here so you're on Facebook right so you're on Facebook you might have offers there's so many ways that you can actually build you know you can actually get people to check out your offer right you can post every day you can comment every day you can engage on people's stuff you can even pay for ads but none of that is what we're talking about we're talking about a tool a tool and a process that you can use now I use my I've I've got a tool anyways you're going to get into all that but what I want to talk to you about is using something that lets people uh, check out your offer in a particular way so okay so let's uh, let's back up let's talk about the offer now your offer is going to be your offer and it's not what I'm talking about in terms of offers obviously it's going to be uh whatever it is that you have now telling people about your offer is the part that everybody is going to agree that you gotta do as much as possible because without you know without talking about your product about your uh, offer about your 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 uh, opportunity about your uh, course about your uh, company whatever it is that you're trying to sell whatever it is you're trying to get some people to buy if you can't you know if they don't look at it then you're not going to be getting any results now some people talk about you know creating funnels and getting people to that funnel and getting a whole engagement thing going on with like email uh campaigns and getting people to you know go through the the email campaigns and you know all of that is all great like see this ad here right this uh, this Steve R Larson is one of the uh click funnels you know gurus I guess so he's posting uh, you know ads now that's not what I'm talking about there's this person this is one of my pages that's pretty interesting what is that uh where is this even coming from I don't even know what that video is but anyways it's the video with my little picture right there it must be a video I did to show a demo of my product but anyways it's a sample ad it's not an ad I did it just like shows you know this what it would look like if you decide to spend money on Facebook now we're not talking about ads these are more ads you can see more ads there's more ads there's people posting stuff all right so the process that I'm going to talk about is using a tool called loom now there's probably other tools that let you do something similar to that but it's not the tool itself it's more about the process but how to get it to do now there 
there's a couple of things that have to happen before people will actually take you seriously and actually look at your stuff right before they look at your stuff before you can send them a message or anything like that they have to already know like and trust you right so that's the first thing that has to happen you've heard of no like trust right no like trust is about getting people to to trust you enough to take the time to look at your offer or even buy your product right they have to trust you before that happens and that's that's the hardest thing to get if you're just posting on social media because you know one of the things that the leaders tell you to do is post every day right post every day something and although that's very important to do and that certainly does help now it's become harder and harder to get noticed by just posting so you really and you know that's why leaders talk about well you gotta you know you gotta post right with you let's let's do a little note here a little note let's do a little note file here so I can kind of write these things right um so let's do a little note okay what's the best way right so that's kind of what we're talking about right now all right talking about that all right so what's the best way so of course number one they need to know like and trust you right so how do you accomplish that right so you can you can post post every day right you post content every day now there's a whole lot of um a whole lot of 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 trainings and gurus that talk about what you can do here but the the long and short of it is pretty much the same uh, for pretty much anybody it's posting regularly posting post content the your target audience wants right so you got to post stuff that they're interested in I mean they have to like what you're posting so that they they see it and engage on it right because if they're not going to engage on it Facebook won't show you their your stuff to them there's a whole reciprocity thing that happens with Facebook and other social platforms that's important so you got to do that you got to be posting regularly now what else can you do you got to be you must engage on other people's posts right ideally your target audience right you got to be engaging on your target audience's posts as well so that when you get started that'll be whatever's on your Facebook feed because in the beginning you're going to be seeing stuff on your Facebook feed based on your engagement based on your content based on how Facebook sees your uh, activities right so Facebook will show you the stuff that you're engaging on more of the same stuff so that's why it works in the beginning to do that but after a while that doesn't work too well anymore because you're going to continually see the same people in your feed all the time always the same content always the same people right so if you're always seeing the same people always seeing the same content you're not seeing new people you can't be in, engaging on new people but that's kind of what the that's kind of how you do it so number two is find new people whoops new people in groups right why in groups because that's where groups groups are where you can be confident in your target audience being there right so you can kind of be confident that your target market is there so for example if your target market is weight loss well you're going to go into groups that people where people are talking about weight loss right so that'll be your target market that's people are interested in weight loss so they're going to be in that group so that's where you're going to go to go find new people so that's that's the basics of finding people right and getting them to know and like and trust you so that but that's not what we're talking about right now we're talking about how to get them to see your to check out your offer right because it doesn't matter how much they know like and trust you if you're just posting about your offer so you know do not constantly post about your offer that's that's the worst thing you can do don't be posting about your offer all the time you can might be able to post once in you know 20 posts 
if you're posting about your product about your company about all the time then people are going to see what's what some are calling commission breath right because they know that if you're posting about products that's because you're trying to sell it which to them feels like you're you don't care about them you just care about their money and buying your stuff right so that's why if you post your product all the time people will not be interested so you got to make sure that you are not doing these no-nos now I have you know I have a document that I have that lists the 10 things you should do and I've got all these different things you can actually go check it out I get my uh my master yeah I'll get my well well what, 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 what do I call it? let's go here master of simple.com that's the url I'll just paste that in my document here uh let's just put it here so that you can see it so basically the top 10 simple online strategies that actually attract now these are these are things that I did a long time ago I still kind of do that I still kind of follow these 10 things there's uh, additional bonuses in there but that's definitely one thing that you're going to want to go get is get that that get my top 10 simple online strategies to attract attract your prospect anyways it's not exactly that that's not the exact wording but that's what it is right so go get that right there at a master of simple.com but anyways that's kind of just the background so you understand the basics of attraction marketing that you need to do that first before you can even you know bug them about your offer they have to already know you they have to already trust you uh, enough to actually look at your stuff though and you know one of the ways doing this work all the time is taxing and you know if you're going to go into groups how do you know whether you're who you should be engaging right you know your brain is going to kind of keep track of people's names and maybe their faces and their profile picture and things like that sometimes people change a profile picture so you might lose them right so that's so that can be a lot of work to try to keep track of who you've engaged with because you know so number three is do not contact them until until they trust you right so <laughs> don't contact them until they trust you well how would you know how do you know whether they trust you or not the answer is that it's you you can't be 100 percent sure whether they trust you but you can know maybe I should say until they like you right until they at least like you so how do you know whether they like you how do people how do you get people to like you people will like you because they know you and they like what you do for them right listen let's listen how do you know how do you know if they like you right so number one they must know you right they must know you they have to know you and they must like what you do for them okay so now this is this is like you know psychology 101 or, or human and interaction 101 right how do you know that they like how do you how do you how can you know what to do for them and so that they like you right how would you know that right well on social media on social media people are there to get others to see their stuff right <laughs> so on social media people are there to get others to see their stuff so if you so if you see and see react react and comment on their stuff they will uh let's put that on this next line they will automatically like you I'm not writing too good am I automatically 
automatically like you they will automatically like you if you engage on their stuff okay yeah, well that's that's good that's that's that seems easy but now <laughs> now if you're trying to build any business you're not going to be commenting you're not going to be engaging and posting and commenting on one person right you're going to be doing it like like crazy as much as you can right so then how do you keep track of that that's where uh the, so here's the thing before I talk to you about loom the tool that is the best way to get people actually look at your offer I'm going to show you what I'm doing and how I'm using the tool active group users right so active group users is a tool that lets me see who is actually active in groups and it lets me see like see for example Debbie Halbrook right here she's gotten uh she's posted these numbers here four Facebook posts 29 comments and this is in the last 30 days right so in the last 30 days she's commented on 29 posts in the groups that I'm I'm searching for and stuff like that anyways there's a whole configuration thing going on but this kind of shows me that this uh, Dina here has commented on 27 posts uh what else so who else uh, there's Gaurav here is commented on 13 posts and this kind of lets me know who is more active now I could sort and uh, whatever but what I do is I'm basically going through the list of people that I have engaged with as much so now when I look at this list the number that's right here tells me how many times I've visited this person's profile so if I look at Abigail right here and I click on her name it shows me that I've commented on 47 posts and you know things like that I can see the comments if I click on there no whatever but the the whole purpose here is that I'm just going to go visit her profile she's going to click on this takes me to her Facebook profile and it lets me see her posts without me having to worry about remembering you know uh whether I visited or not I let the tool tell me right the tool is going to tell me right here that the last time I visited I guess it's kind of blurred out here but it was 12 days ago I think it was now it's today so it lets me see that okay it's time to comment what I've been kind of doing is every six days six days or more I'll go visit them again until I decided to take them out of my list right but for now these are people that I've been engaging with that I've been commenting on their stuff that they've been seeing me in their notifications so they know that I'm engaging on their stuff and hopefully they like me for it right they like me for the fact that I'm engaging on their stuff so and the way that and and this is kind of what the, the secret is is before you try to reach out to them you got to make sure that they they've seen you enough so that they know who you are and they like you because you're doing things that they are on Facebook for so if you're engaging on their posts commenting on their posts they know well they like you more pretty much you're pretty sure pretty sure I mean like obviously you know some people will be like oh this is just a spammer or whatever they'll think they'll think what they want to think but that's okay because there's going to be people that will actually uh like you because you're engaging on their stuff right so if I go through here and I just go on on this right she's talking about extra income summit and uh she's got this uh, sixth six to ninth an extra income summit so you know obviously I normally take the time to actually read the post and see what I can say about it right and I would engage on it I'll say something like this I'll just this looks like a great summit and obviously I would say something a little bit more you know nicer than that but right now I'm just trying to show you how to how I'm using the tool so I'm engaging on this person's post this is nine hours ago uh what does it say is it days are on you got your ticket I'm gonna say yeah yeah it's always it's always exciting to do an event to help others and then what else there she's got another post here I can probably keep going because she's posting regularly pretty much every see how this is 22 hours ago this one it was nine hours ago so she's posting multiple posts a day or at least these days because she's doing this this summit I guess right this person here so and what is that TikTok so let's engage on this one join the extra awesome I'm just gonna say awesome okay so now I've done my engagement on this person's post and normally I just go back and I close it and I just update this and say 
engaged on this and on that so but what I'm going to do now I'm going to leave that there for now I'm going to talk about loom so this is the tool that I'm talking about it basically lets you record a video and the way I've been using it is I basically go to the person's profile and record a video so loom you just go to loom.com right so loom.com uh, l-o-o-m right you just go there and then you just say you know register with google or enter an email whatever they they first give you an advanced you know free trial kind of the advanced features but afterwards if you go down to the free account you have certain limits like five minute videos and things like that like for me that's fine but I might upgrade because it, it has a limit of 25 videos which I can always delete these if I don't need the, I don't need to keep all the videos but the way it works is that you um you can just click on record new video here or record video down there um or better because it allows you to switch tabs and things like that is I use uh the the plugin so I've installed the plugin right here there's a loom free screen recorder plugin you install that and then you can use loom uh from the chrome browser on any tab so and this is kind of what I do I'm going to record one right now to kind of show you how I use this and why you're going to see like and afterwards we're going to explain why it's so powerful there's a couple of reasons but but we're going to explain why it's so powerful but before we do that I'm actually going to record one I'm going to have to turn this camera off because the loom needs the the camera to actually well I I use the camera to record myself on it too so you're going to see my little face there while I'm recording it and then we're going to we're going to show you what I do with that video so every time I want to contact somebody like Abigail right here I'm actually going to contact her using loom video and uh you're going to see what I do with that and let's just start that right now let's turn the webcam off right here so then what I do is you cl I click on this little loom well you can't see it but there's a little loom icon on the top and it'll give you the option to get started you can see right there you click on start recording and then it'll give you a little three second countdown where you can then kind of wait and then start the recording when it does so you're going to see what I do in a video for uh for Abigail right here I'm going to do a video for Abigail and I'm going to show you how I use it so as you can tell right now I'm on her Facebook page right so I can probably make it about like this so I can see her face there and her name and her she can see kind of her cover picture right and you can resize this thing anyways you do a whole bunch of different things with loom too but the basics is the idea that you're going to see right now let's get started let's start the recording and I'm just going to do that right now I'm going to share the screen you can choose screens windows whatever and then I do that and then it'll say you know three two one and I'm going to start the recording right now to talk to Abigail hey Abigail I don't know what's going on I think my video isn't recording right you should I should be right there that's not working or oh, there it's coming I think it's something to do with my computer is a little slow hey Abigail sorry about that I just wanted to say hi and I wanted to let you know that I really enjoy your content I this is pretty cool that you're doing this uh, summit right now um as you can see I don't know if you've noticed I've been engaging on your post right I've been engaging on your post just to kind of you know maybe get to know you and potentially hopefully you get to know me and I don't know if you know this but I've been using a tool to keep track of who I'm engaging with and how often I need to engage and it's basically how I grow my audience and you're hopefully one of my you know target market people and basically over here it just kind of shows I just engaged on three posts I reacted on three posts and I also contacted you so I'm going to send you this as a video then I just click on save and underneath here you're going to see this basically the list you're right here it says right here that I've visited you 20 times said this uh, Warner here I visited 14 Alice I visited 22 27 for Anthony it kind of shows me how many times I visited people right here you see the number that's there also shows me how many comments this person did in Facebook these are Facebook comments right here 29 uh, 27 well you it shows zero there's probably some sort of uh, issue because you wouldn't be in the list if you didn't at least comment once in a post in a group that I'm uh, was using so this basically lets you go find people that are active in a group that you're interested in and I would really love for you to give this a try it's something I've been using for a while I created this extension and I really would love for you to take a look at it and you just reply back to this 
video here and let me know and uh and if I don't hear from you well I understand but hopefully I will and we'll see you in uh, the conversation <laughs> thanks all right so now I just cre created the pause here but I'm going to click the stop because I I want to I, I messed up because obviously I'm, I'm doing this and it's not exactly right that video that you see down there is not supposed to be that weird it was slow probably because my computer is busy doing other things but I'm just going to stop this and then let's turn on the other webcam back on so you can kind of see me uh it's basically stopping let's turn the webcam back on all right so after you've recorded the video then what happens is it shows you kind of a preview of the video with a little preview of the uh, video it's saving it right now normally the zero should not be here you can actually change uh, the preview here which I don't I don't like that this is showing this uh let's see oh there you go okay so now it's showing me this and it should be showing me let's see uh I can probably trim it because I don't need the beginning right uh, let's just take this beginning out of here let's let, so this is basically it's a whole video editor and everything else right so you can do all, all these different things um I didn't need to do that in the other ones I recorded because I because you know the computer wasn't doing other things like it's doing right now recording this episode right which takes up a lot of computer power so let's actually um, I'm going to pause the video come back when this is done all right well it's it's taking too long I just decided to cancel it anyways we'll just leave it like this normally it's going to be better it's going to have an actual this will be the beginning but so what I do is I just take this as uh, copy this link and then I go to the person's profile and I send them a message and I just paste that in there and that's all that's all I do and there you go so I'm just going to paste that here and um and obviously you might have had a conversation before with them like I, I kind of did a little bit here but I don't always so now it'll show this which isn't exactly right but anyways uh normally like if I look at other messages I sent out you see I sent out a message to uh Anthony right here who replied oh let's look at Alice she didn't reply yet so you'll see how it shows this video of her profile picture so now this is the secret this is the secret now before because well a couple things right first let's go back to the to the, the messages because you're doing your posting because you're getting them to know like and trust you because you're doing you're you're doing all the right things to get to that point when you send them a video about your offer which you can do using loom so send so so after so okay so send send them a video using loom or other tools I suppose but to, loom is great because it's really easy so start start on their on their profile okay and the reason why you start on their profile is because the first image they're going to see on the video oh my my video my face is in the way here eh? isn't it let's get that out of there put it up here instead so you see this message I sent to her to Alice it's a picture of her profile if I go back to her profile you can see that that's what her Facebook profile looks like it's got this it's got her face it's got her name and whenever she looks at this this message in her in her inbox when she sees it she's gonna be like oh I recognize that what is that so you got to make sure that you're sending it with uh with their profile to start with right so start on their profile then one to two minutes max uh so uh, you do that a video of one to two minutes max start by um telling them about them right so you got to say stuff about them now I like your profile I like how you're doing this and that whatever they're doing right um and I've been following and then tell them you know tell them tell them you've been following them following them and then talk about your offer talk about your offer so now here's the th this is kind of the secret is that you've got to make sure that you and then you know the exact 
wording and structure and obviously that'll come over time it'll get better over time as you get better at you know figuring out what to say how to say it, the sequence and all this stuff right obviously it's change it, it's going to change uh but what happens then is after you've done that right so now I've gotten this I can just go back to my loom my loom page which has all my videos I just reload to show you these and the other thing that's really cool about loom is that because it's really meant for well, I don't know it's, I don't know if it's meant for what I'm using it for what I'm telling you to use it for but the cool thing about it is that right here you see how it says notifications right here and I click on this it'll tell me that uh, I think it's Anthony that looked at it yeah Anthony watched his video right he watched this video and obviously it's him because he's the only one I sent it to right um and then there's these other other messages right that were watched by others whatever these are older older notifications we go back to home here whoops no library I go back to there you can see now the video I sent to Anthony right here it says there's two watches right two people two watches this one has five oh no it had did it, uh, it looked like it had five anyways Alice hasn't watched it yet I guess but you'll see that here and that's really the that's really the simplest way I guess the most powerful way to get people to look at your offers have them especially if you're on Facebook obviously if you were on Instagram or LinkedIn or other other social platforms you'd use that profile to start the video but you can do the same thing I'm not sure about Instagram I know in LinkedIn you can share a, a link and it'll show a preview as well so that's the other thing right so it's, it's all about what how you use it all right that's what it is that's what it is to get people to actually check out your offers by making it so that they get to know you first so they like you and trust you and then when they see your video you make it so that it's like a video of them and they're more likely to look at it than afterwards at least they'll be interested potentially in hearing more about your offer all right until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time